Hey guys, it's Vince with Mastering the Method, and today I'm doing a bulk print for production. I need a bunch of standoffs, and this is an interesting print because once again, I am working with the build tack build plate. This is a much smaller component, and you can see we have them all lined up, and I started this a little while ago. We still have nine hours left on the print. You can see my chamber temperature is at 36 degrees Celsius. Usually it's set... Um, between that 35 36 degrees Celsius mark and again I am printing a nylon carbon extruder set at 260 you can see the four degree swing that we have right now we're just slightly underneath that and I will monitor the print and show you what we have when we're done and I'm going to go even smaller than this on the next subsequential print so you can see exactly where we're at with smaller parts and the adhesion we have Okay guys, we're in front of the printer. Once again, we're at 26%. And these are one inch standoffs that now I'm printing. And you can see, he is knocking these out really quick. Now I've got 20 of them here set up. I believe it was like a 13 hour print. I cannot get over the difference at the room temperature with this unit, once again, with the heated chamber turn way down and many of you will notice that you're also going to notice that the printer does sound different and that's of course I believe the internal components at running at much cooler temperatures and when I say internal components talk on transmission the steppers let's see what we got here Now, once again, I did do my assisted leveling calibration prior to printing. I do that on every print. And when guys say they have issues with the printers, I cannot emphasize enough. Calibration is key, guys. You have to do both calibration. First, the extruders and follow up with assisted leveling. Assisted leveling, once the build plate is removed, in my opinion, should be done once the build plate is reinserted because you'll never put it back in the same position. I've said this the over time and time again in other videos. Once again, we're at 26%. We'll continue monitoring this through the print. All right, we're at 50% now. Got about, what, six hours, a little over six hours left? And I must say, guys, these are coming out perfect. Once again, running 2,500 millimeters a minute and simplified. And you can see these really look fantastic. And of course, I'm only running one extruder, which is the model extruder. There's no reason you can't print these straight on the build plate. <clears throat> Definitely save your PVA. There we go. All right, I'll shoot it again when we're done and we'll see how these come out. Okay guys, you can see what I'm left with here. Uh, once again, going through and making sure that the build plate is set properly for what you're printing. And what I mean to say is I set them up and I did not add any heat to the chamber. And on a small footprint component like these, you can see what actually happened. They were turning out great. But you can see, and I'm sure many of you have seen similar videos, where someone comes into work, someone comes into their shop, wherever it may be, and their extruder is coated in all kinds of filament, and the head has been coated. This has been totally redone using the same process I do in my video. You see the nozzle's immaculate. This happened not due to the printer failing. It happened due to myself because I didn't apply any heat to this print and I treated it as if I was printing my electrical enclosure. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the same process of prepping the build plate and doing calibration as, as required, but this time I'm gonna apply some heat and I'll cover the uh, temperature I go with once everything is set up and we get these reprinted again. So stay tuned. 